641 now. What Lou of the Summer Games in London, we're going to Harpins in Payne City for an English treat. I visited the British-owned restaurant and tried my first Scotch egg, which has <laughs> nothing to do with Scotland and everything to do with England. I think we've adapted our English roots to to make them. Paul and Hazel Harpin left England in 1974 and brought their talents to Middle Georgia. Frank Fenter from London had come over uh, about four years before and then we'd kept in touch and he wanted to open a restaurant in Macon, um, a French restaurant basically um, so because of all the rock and roll people that were coming here and everything and he asked me if I would come over and help to open one and I did and I stayed. After helping with the opening of the first European restaurant in Macon, the Harpins decided to start up their own little eatery. We decided that we would um, open a little sandwich shop for a work in retirement, and that's basically what it is. Harpins Restaurant is a popular place for lunch Monday through Saturday, but during the 2012 Summer Olympics, well... It's like you're in the Olympics when you come in here this week. So maybe it's not quite like being in London for the Olympics, but we can try to eat like we are. To make four scotch eggs, we have a pound of sausage meat, uh, freshly ground, and then I mix this with a little flour just to give it a little bit of body. Then you wrap the sausage meat around a hard-boiled egg. Roll it in breadcrumbs. Then we deep fry it until we get a golden, a golden brown. I loved it. I love eggs and I love sausage. So you put them together, it was just great. As they say across the pond, an easy peasy snack fit for the queen herself. And this morning we have the owner of Harpins. We've got Mr. Paul Harpin himself here to talk about the scotch eggs. So tell us, I mean, they're pretty... Good morning. <laughs> good morning. They're pretty easy to make, right? Yes, they are. They're very simple. Okay, we want to talk about the ingredients. Okay, yeah, you just, um, for, to make four, you need four hard boiled eggs and then a, a pound of good sausage meat and uh, you just divide that up and well mix the sausage meat with a little flour to give it a little bit of body mm -hmm. and then you divide that up into four um, portions and wrap each egg with that dip them in breadcrumbs and fry them and there you go and there you go and mm -hmm. you can serve them with salad or, or just eat them for breakfast like that or with salad or with some potatoes or, you know, okay yeah perfect a good meal now you mentioned um, coming to Macon to kind of help with the first European restaurant here yes right talk yeah. about that a little bit okay I came uh, to Macon in 1974 uh, with a, a good friend of mine Frank Fando the co-founder of Capricorn Records mm -hmm. I had known him in in London I'd worked when I'd worked in London and uh, he wanted to open up a restaurant in Macon so because of Capricorn with all the people coming in, the stars and all the rock and, rollers. rock and rollers. And so I was persuaded to come and I thought I was only coming for a, um, <clears throat> you know, a short period of time, but I ended up, I'm still here. So. Um, and yeah. Mr. Harbin, <clears throat> you have an interesting connection to the Olympics this year, right? I do. Talk about that. Oh, okay. Well, my grandson, Alex, was at um, Omaha, Nebraska. He was at the Olympic swim trials and uh, he did very well. Uh, but he uh, he's the 66th um, fastest swimmer in the United States. Breaststroke, Breaststroke swimmer, swimmer, right? At, at the moment. Okay, yes, and he's yeah. 19. You mentioned. 19 years old. Yes. Okay, so he'll he'll try <coughs> again. He will. Yes. 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 And hopefully make it. I hope he will. Yes, but he's only 19, so he's got a long way to go. Yes, he does. Yes. Okay. Now, what are your thoughts on the games being in London this year? Well, I think it's great. Yeah, and, and London's um, from 1948, the last time they were there, and now um, London's changed so much, and they can they can do so much more. Mm -hmm. It was shortly after the war when they did it, and of course it was pretty devastated. But I think they're doing a wonderful job. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for the Scotch eggs. Okay. We'll definitely have these for breakfast.